Hi kids, my name is Pastor Ben and welcome to Kids Church Online. We have a special treat for you today. Today, we get to watch a skit that was done at the festival, as well as some songs that we did while we were at the festival. I hope you enjoy and have a great Sunday. Jesus taught crowds of people using simple stories called parables. These stories helped explain the truths that Jesus taught. This parable is about a wealthy man going on a long journey who asked his servants to make money for him while he was gone. Did you get the horse ready for the master? He'll oh. be leaving any minute. I sure did, and guess what? I actually packed his lunch and I added some extra snacks, just, you know, in case he's hungry. Oh, what a good idea. I'm so glad we have one helpful servant. Oh, the master's coming. Here he is. Come on, quick. Hey, quick. Hello, my fellow servants. How are you today? Hello, master. Good, how are you? Doing quite well. I was going to ask you guys, uh, is everything ready for my departure today? Yes, sir. Yes. Of course. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Now, before I go, I have a little request for all of you. While I'm gone, I'd like my money to be doing something. Uh, and so that's why I'm entrusting all of you to take this money and invest it to buy stuff, to sell stuff, and make a little profit on the side. Yes. So when I come back, I expect all of you to have made some money. Now, uh, Alexandria, I know you've got the keenest business sense here, so I'm going to entrust you with the biggest bag Thank you. of money. You oh. think you can handle it? Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Sounds good. And Olivia, I'm yes, going to give yes, you this yes, medium-sized bag here. Thank you so much. I'll do my best. Invest and, and just do your best. Invest and do your best. God <laughs> takes care of the rest. And then, for you, Dave. Now, look, I know finances and investing money, that's, that's not really your thing. You've only just recently learned how to add and subtract. But even so, I'm entrusting you with this one gold coin to invest a little bit, make some money, and uh, hopefully turn a little bit of a profit. You think you can handle it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I can, I can try to figure something out. I mean, You'll do just fine. You'll do just fine. Well, I'll be off. Best of luck to all of you, and uh, I'll see you in a few months. See Bye, you, Master. Master. Goodbye. Have a good trip. Farewell, my servants. This is awesome! Wow! What an opportunity! I know. We need to try wow. our best yes. oh, to sure work do. for our Master. Let's, let's turn it let's into money. Let's get working. Yes. More money. Oh, kids are going to be amazing. Get ready. Armor for sale. Armor for sale. Get your armor here. We have the best quality Roman iron armor that money can buy. All what different could we sizes, do? different colors. Maybe and let's go to the market. Egyptian decorations. Yes, armor. Sale. I'm armor. interested in in looking at your armor. You are, miss. How can I help you? What are you looking for? Well, maybe I would like to buy all of your armor, but it depends. What is your price? For all that I have here? All of it. I would say 500 denarii. <laughs> Certainly you can do better. No, I can't. Oh, oh, you can do better. I'll give you 200 denarii. 200? Well, hello. Hello. I see you have some nice hats. I do. They were imported from Cremona, Italy, where all the finest pasta and hats are made. Italy, you say? Well, well actually, this says made in New Jersey. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, no. I don't, I don't know why. Well, how much are they? They're 100 denarii. 100. Uh, that's way too much. How about 10? 10 I'll, I'll go for 50. All right. All right, deal. Sell all get? this and get... I bought some armor. I think I can definitely make a profit Ooh, I got with my hats. shrewd business skills. Yeah, I'm sure to find someone that will buy some armor. Oh, yes. Hats for sale. Armor. For sale. Would you guys It'll, like some uh, armor? New some Jersey. armor, of course. Good. I need to sell it for... Everybody has money. Hmm. I need to sell some these. Armor. Hats for oh, sale. some armor over here. Wonder. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? The master wants me to sell this? 
I mean, I can't even add what, you know, two plus two. How am I supposed to know what to do with this coin? Wants me to sell it. I mean, what if I lose it? I mean, what if I don't, uh, like, I, you know, I, I don't even like to work. This is work. This is hard work. So you know what? I think I have an idea. I'm gonna bury this coin. So that way, the master will get exactly what he gave me, perfect return on investment, and everything will be great for the master, right? I won't fail him, it'll be great. And I just need to find a place to... What a convenient pile of dirt and a shovel. You just don't strike luck these days, kids. All right, here we go. There it is. Beautiful. Now the master won't be bad at me, and I did a good day's work for the master. Oh, I'm proud of myself. So now, you know what that means? A little bit of Fortnite. Let's go! <laughs> Gotta get a hundredth win, 99. Gonna be a quad win. Gotta grind it out. Woo! Okay, okay, all right. Yep, yep, landing tilted towers, yep, mm-hmm. And my computer crashed again! Uh -huh. yeah. This is what I'm talking about, level zero. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, it's quick. Yep, mm-hmm, yep, okay, Woo! okay, yep, cardio in for the day. Uh -huh. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, okay. The yep. two servants yep. work yep. day okay. and night, yep. finding the best oh, prices for their items. Okay. Buying low, selling high, traveling around to find the most profitable markets, and eventually, they doubled the amount of money their master gave them. Dave... Well, he didn't lose any money, and he had a lot of fun, and he didn't do any work at all. After many months, the master returned. The master's coming! The master's coming! Dave, ah, my Dave. fellow servants, it's so good to see you again. Dave. Uh, I'll tell you, I just flew in from Jerusalem, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. Uh, anyway, how did the money do while I was away? Alexandria, how did the money that I entrusted you go? Master, I doubled what you gave you me. You doubled what I gave you? Doubled? That is amazing. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have done amazingly with the small amount that I've given you. I'm going to give you even more now because you've shown that you are a responsible servant. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Let's celebrate. Uh, Get out of here. Yeah. Olivia, how did things go Master, with the money? I worked so hard. I did my best, mm -hmm. and I was able to make more money. Marvelous. That's what I love to hear. Thank you so much. You have done so well with the small amount Thank that I've given you. Thank Let's you. go celebrate. Thank you so much. And last but not least, or at least hopefully not least, Dave, how did that uh, gold coin that I gave you do? Oh, uh, that gold coin? Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Well, uh, I did you a solid, you, all right? You did. Now listen, okay? Uh-huh. I can't add two plus two. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit rusty on the times tables, all Understandable. right? Understandable, yep, yep. And so I thought it was only logical to bury the coin. To bury the coin. That's right. Uh, here, uh, show me what you're talking okay, about. Yep, I'm, yep. Come I'm down not here. sure I understand. Yeah, no no worries, Master. Yep, <coughs> come on down here. <coughs> It'll all make sense in due time. Okay, so right I over hope here. I will, yes. So I stumbled upon this very convenient pile of dirt. So you did? And all I could think of was, the Master would just want me to bury it because you wouldn't lose anything, you wouldn't lose your coin, you'd be rich as ever because, you know, I know the kind of cheapskate you are. Okay, so let me get this straight here. I give you a gold coin to invest to make some profit. Profit? Um, 
You dig a hole instead. Dig a hole. You 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 put the coin in the hole. In the hole, very big and, hole. And then you and then you bury the coin in the hole. Yeah, bury the hole. Yeah. And you did nothing else. Not a thing. What have you been doing this whole time? I've been gone, Dave. Um, I've been uh, dabbling in a little Fortnite. Fortnite. Yep, that's Is right. Is that right? Yeah, Fortnite. I, it, I had 99 wins. I had to get my 100th win. You know. Okay, 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 okay. Just, just, just stop talking. Just stop talking. Okay. <sighs> you lazy and good for nothing servant. Good for I am me. so disappointed you in you. You said good. Good for nothing. Get out of my face. For nothing. Stop, stop. Get out of here. Stop. I never want to see you or hear about your little victory royales ever again. Unbelievable. Let's give a Last time let's, I didn't trust Dave with anything. Let's give a round of applause to our awesome actors and actresses. So in this story Jesus told, there were two servants. What did the two servants do that were given money? Uh, what did they do? They what? They invested it and made more money. But what did Dave do? What did Dave do? He was lazy and just buried it. So he, he, he didn't want to do the work. And so he just buried the gift that he was given. Now, Jesus' point in all this is that if you know Jesus is your Savior, you have been given gifts. Each of you have talents and skills that God has given you to use to serve other people. Now, maybe you're good at, at sports. Maybe you're, good at, maybe you're good at finding people that are left out. Can any of you think, are you good at seeing people that are left out? That's a gift. Another gift is maybe helping. If you love to help, if you love to help, that is a gift. You guys have all been given gifts. And the verse that we're going to learn today, it's uh, 1 Peter 4.10. says this, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Uh, have a little video from the Kenny and Clay show for your uh, enjoyment and pleasure. Um, let's, let's watch the first one and you tell me um, the problem that you might see with this first video. So what's the problem that you see with this, uh, these guys at the pool, we've got a situation going on here? Yeah, what? Okay, right. So he, the, the guy's drowning in the pool. He's sitting there on his phone. He has an opportunity to help him, and he just doesn't. Just doesn't do it. All right. Let's, let's, see, let's see this one. Let's see if they uh, do a better job on the, on the next one. All right, so these guys show that not only does God give us gifts, but he also gives us opportunities. Like no one will be a brother or sister to your brothers and sisters except you. And no one is going to have the same friends that you have. And so God has given you guys opportunities that are unique to you, to nobody else, so that you can serve God and serve other people. All right, so just as we go from here, remember to watch for those opportunities and take advantage of them to serve God, all right? Let's pray, and then we're going to uh, head on over to Music Emotion team. They have a couple songs, a verse for us to learn, etc. Let's pray. Father, I'm so thankful for these kids, so thankful that we've been able to spend time together here at the festival. Um, we've just had a ton of fun. These guys have been great. God, I pray that you would bless them. Help them to know what gifts you have given them. Help them to know how you have built them and made them to serve you and to serve others, and then help them to go out, see those opportunities, and take advantage of them for you. Uh, Father, help us to have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for your blessing so far. In your name, amen. See